Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson, Synthetic Bracketing. So we're gonna apply label bracketing on this sentence. Success in life means the courage you keep for it. The first thing you gotta do is write the main bracket for the sentence. So here we have the bracket around the main sentence. The second step that we need to do is look for the main verb in the sentence. Success in life means the courage you keep for it. Here we have two verbs, means and keep. But the main verb is means. So that's where the subject ends and the predicate begins. Okay? So we bracketed the subject, which is also the noun phrase, and we bracketed the predicate which is also the verb phrase. Now we're gonna do further bracketing. Over here, we have success in life, which is composed of the noun, and what's describing the noun here is an, adject is an adjective, and at the same time, it's a prepositional phrase. So we can put this in further brackets. So here you have it. In life, it's comp composed of a position and a noun making the prepositional phrase which is an adjective to the subject success so we finish this part of the sentence the subject after the subject we have the predicate which is composed of the main verb and what comes after the main verb is the complement we can do this in further bracketing with a bracket around the verb and bracket around the complement let's do that so, we have here the main verb, which is a predicator, and all of this is a noun phrase, which acts as the complement of the main sentence of the subject, predicate, and complement. Alright? Now, if we take a further look at the complement, the courage you keep for it, we have another verb. Since we have another verb, it means that we have a verb phrase. Notice that for that verb phrase, you have a subject, which is you. You keep for it. The whole thing is a clause within the sentence. So, we consider it just like a sentence. Remember the brackets we put at the beginning of the sentence? Here, these brackets. They are not similar to the parentheses we used for labeling the rest of the sentence. The, these brackets are the same ones we're going to use here around our clause, because a clause is just like a sentence. So, we're going to box the clause within square brackets. Sorry for Missing up the brackets here, they're not supposed to be like that. You can push them further. And here we have a close. What was the function of the close here? The close here exists. This is C, L, right? The close here exists. As an adjective to this noun, all right? The courage, the courage you keep for it. So we can put brackets around the courage, or just leave it as it is because it's already in the noun phrase. But we understand that this clause is used as an adjective to describe. the noun which is in this case gorge so that's it for the bracketing lesson remember that for a sentence whether it was in it's a close or a sentence you need to use square brackets then the first thing you need to do is look for the main verb and this will help you finish up your sentence the end result should look something like that as 
a fan of the page asked us to explain the question and I want to tell you thanks for watching comment like subscribe leave any questions you would like to leave in the comments require uh, around English because English cake language is just a piece of cake